Hello. Hello. There's, Kenny Alter is having a kiddish this Shabbos. He called. Yeah. Me. He I, asked I, us I, to come, Susie, because there's a seum of our Masechta. Yeah, yeah. Because we're Messiah one of our Masechtas this week. Well, we should start the new one tomorrow, I think. No, no, no. We start the new one. Tonight is 117. Tomorrow is 118. Wednesday is the new one. Oh, Wednesday. Okay. But I'm doing one and a half blot today. All right. We're going to be on the duff. All right. Ciao. Ciao, where? No. Oh, you're doing? You're teaching now? Yes. Okay. Hello. Sorry, I'm late. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. One second. Okay. Okay, we are on Kufu Dalit. Iboilu, Maushi Yisadru Babalchoy. We said that a if you took a mashkon, you must leave certain items. You have to give it back to him at night if it's like a, a pillow. So what about just a general creditor? It says, So by Erchin, when somebody makes an Erech vow, and we come and take Mashkon from him for the base of Mikdash, we leave certain items. So we do, do we learn from Erchin over to a general creditor, Toshma? The Shalach Rabin Baagrase, Rabin sent a letter from Eretz Dover. I asked this Kasha, nobody answered me. Ram, this was the question. A person takes upon himself a vow. To bring a thousand dollars to the to the base of English. Maushi is sadru. Do we what we if he doesn't have the cash and we go and we take things from his house, like the marshal, do we leave him certain items like like the case of Erchin or not? 
So Rav Yaakov Mishmei, the Rav Yirmiya Mishmei, the Ilfa Anri, Kavachoymer, from a Balchov. Uma Balchov, Shemachzirin, that a creditor is required to return the collateral to the borrower if he needs it. Ein Misadrin. Yet we said after 30 days, we learned in the Mishnah that if the borrower doesn't have money to pay him, it doesn't go on forever. After 30 days, he sells whatever the Balchov has, whatever the, the borrower has to pay off his debt after 30 days. So there's no Sidur by a Balchov. Hegdish ain't machziri. There is no din by Hegdish that Hegdish has to return a pillow at night to somebody that they took possession in order to pay a vow. Ain't no din shein the So it doesn't. They, Hegdish doesn't have a case of cedar either. But Rav Yechon Amar ish kiafli neder be'erkecho siv. So the din of Sidur is not unique to Erech. Rather, Ma Erech and Misadrin, Afekdish Misadrin. Rav Yechelen actually learns that just like by Erech we make a cheshben, what we leave to the guy who owes, by any Hekdish vow we do the same thing. The Idich, who don't hold that, what do they learn from the comparison of Nedorm and Erechin? To teach me something else. Nidon bechvodo. Somebody who makes an erech vow. Not their bear kech, ma erchin, nidon bechvodo. If a person says, I'm going to give the value of my heart to the base of Inish, you give the complete value of the person. Afegdish nidon bechvodo. So the Gemara asks, the Yisadr Babalchov, Kavachayim erchin, you should make arrangements. That a regular creditor also can't take anything he wants, even after 30 days. The din would be a kavachoyer from Erech. Ma Erechin she'ein machzirin. There is no din from Beis Migdosh that if they take a pillow from some guy who owed them money, there's no din that they, don't, they have to give the pillow back at night. Yet, misadrin lo, at the end, when you sell, the guy's assets, you leave him certain assets that he needs for his living. Balchov Shemachzirin. A creditor we've been taught has to return a pillow at night. Enodin Shemisadrin. So the Gemara says, from a Kavachoymer, you might, but Omar Kra, the im machume erkecha, the richo so a coin alpia shirt to see yen and dear Cohen, who? Hello, Balchov. Only the koyin does it not a balchov. So it's a pasuk that says, even though you have a kavachoymer, we don't learn it to a balchov. The idich, what is the, the mandomer who learns that you are messiah in the balchov, what does he do with who? So, hi, ad shiye b'makosu metchilos v'ad sofo. Now, when we talk about erech, and making arrangements to leave certain assets with the person, it's only if he's poor. If he's wealth, wealthy, we don't do situ. And he has to be poor from the beginning to end. If he became wealthy in the middle, ain't the sadri. The Gemara asks a different question. 
V'yachzir b'hegdash kava chomer mibachol. Maybe hegdash should return a pillow at night to somebody that they took a pillow as payment. We don't make this sidur by regular creditors. Yet machzirin, we force them to give the pillow back at night. Hegdash and mesadrin, ain't it in machzirin? Omer kra, hashev tashiv lo esa avot, that you shall return his pillow. V'shorcha v'sal maso uverecheka. And he will sleep with his pajama and he will bless you. That's only by a regular lender. Only head yoits, only private individuals require bracha. Basically, it just doesn't require bracha. Freak the Gemara, the la, baxi, vachalta, vsavato, verachta, shem lo kecha. Even a Kurdish bracha needs a bracha. Amar kra, when it says that you have to return the pillow, ulachat, he had stucca. Me should start stucca, yat sagdish, ain't sarcha. Stoka. Hegdish is not require tzedakah, so it does not, it doesn't, the, the halacha doesn't accrue to Hegdish. Ashkechei Rabbi Baravua Lelio. Rabbi Baravua met up with Elio Novi, and he found him the Koibi Beisak Vorshel Nochrin. He found Elio Novi hanging out in a Goyish cemetery. V'omer lo maushi yisadru v'balchoi. Does a balchoiv take into consideration leaving certain assets with the credit, with the guy who owes him money? So Eliyahu answered, Omar Gomar, Micha Micha Me'erchim. Gabi Erchim Sivi Imachu Me'erkecha. Gabi Balchov Sivi Chiyamu Pachicha. So from there, it seems like Eliyahu Novi is learning, Madoch. You do cedar by Erchin, we would do cedar by Balkhov too. Now, he asked him other questions. Minayin la arum shalo yitro. A person who's not wearing clothes, is he allowed to separate truma? He says, no. You have to make a bracha. You can't say a dover with a with your erva revealed. So you can't make a bracha on Afrosh's tomb. So, meanwhile, Rabbi Baravua says to him, I don't get it. Lav koinu mar. We know Eliyahu Pinchas. Pinchas the koyin. How could the koyin be hanging out in a cemetery? My time of koyin mar So, Omar Eliyahu responded, don't you learn Seder Taharas? It says in the Bryce, Rabbi Shemayi Chai Oimer, Kivrein Shul Nochrin Eimetamim. There's no Tumas Oyel, because it says Adam Kiyomus Pa Oyel, and we're going to learn a non Jew is not called an Adam. So there's only Tumas Oyel by Jews. Shenemar, it says in Yechezkel, Va etain soni son mariti adamatem. You are people. Atem kruim adam. The ain nochrim kruim adam. So, Arabah Arbelo Matsina, Bishisa Matsina. The regular four story. Of Taharos, I can't learn. I'm going to learn the sixth one. Amar, Vamai, why can't you learn all of it? It's very hard. Oh, no, I'm very poor. I don't have enough parson, parnasa. Can't, I can't learn the way I'm supposed to learn. The brave Adel Ganeden. So, what did Elio do? He took Rabbi Khana on a little excursion to Ganeda. Amale pshot glimcha. Take off your clothes. Sofish kolmani tarfe. Take some of these leaves. Sofa shok. He took 
כי אבא נפיק שם את הכאמר, מן כך לעם מקרב ברבו. Who is using up his oil in Mahabo? It's Rabbi Baravua. He's being nene from the schus and he's going to have an oil in Mahabo. He's going to use it in this world because he's so poor. So Nafet Shadinu, he got back his garment and he threw down the leaves. Afilochi asya leglima. He brought the garment back and he saw the garment had absorbed the smell of Gan Eden. He was able to betray Safi Dinri. He was able to sell the garment for 12,000 dinar. But he didn't want to benefit from it because he was told this is Chelek Azolam Abba. So he gave it to his sons-in-law. He didn't want to personally benefit from it. Tan Rabbon. The im ish anihu lo tishkav babato. If you've taken collateral, a pillow, from a poor person, you shouldn't sleep with it. You should give him back. Implying ha'asher shachim. If you took the pillow from a wealthy man, you can sleep on his pillow. My come, what does this mean? Amrav Shesh Lachi Kamer. V'im ish anihu lo tishkav avato etzlacha. Don't sleep with his pillow, with you. Return it. But if he was an asher, shchiv avato etzlacha. You don't have to give his pillow back. Torah Bona. Hamav es chavero en rishay l'mashkanoi. You made a loan. You're not permitted to take collateral. We don't know what that means yet. You're not chayv to return it. And if you violate this, you're going to violate all these lobby. So we don't understand this. Right. My come. Amrav sheh zochi koma. Amav ez chaveiro. Eina rishay l'mashkoda. You shouldn't take a collateral if you can avoid it. But in Mashkono if you did take collateral, you got to return it at night. And if you don't, this is our safer. You're over on somebody who doesn't return it. Then you're over all the lobby. Rava Amarachi Kono. Amavaz Chavero En Rishan Mashkono. Normally we make a loan, don't take collateral. If you take it, you have to return it. But what are we talking about that you can't take a collateral? You did it <coughs> after you made the loan and he doesn't want to pay you. So you go and get a mashkon to force him to pay. But at the time you funded the loan, then you took a collateral. Then Then you're not required to give it back to him at night. And when we say that's on the ratio where we said in the cases we are not allowed to take a mashkan because it happened after the fact. Tony Rav Shiz becoming the rabbi. Im chabol tachbol salmas reyecha. Ad bo Hashem is tishvim. If you took his pajama, you got to give it back. Zuk su slime. His garment that he sleeps with at night. Let's say he has work clothes. You have to return his work clothes for the daytime. Why are you talking about the a daytime garment at night and a nighttime garment at day? What does he need it for? Armor low. And yeah, I don't understand. He, he was masking to give it as a mashkon. He needed the he needed the money. So what, 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 I don't... no, when we said before that you shouldn't take a mashkon, you could up front. All right. But let's say he's supposed to pay back after thirty days. All right. He comes thirty days. He didn't pay you back. Now you're coming for for the mashkon like as repayment. Then you have the dinim of chazara. You don't have dinim of chazara if you take a mashkon up front. 
Oh, so it's only then from Chazara if you come, if you take the mashkan afterwards. But he's if not going to take it afterwards. It. Then you have to give it back to him. But he's not going to give it to you afterwards. Yeah, you, you, you're going to, he didn't pay you. So right. you come to his house, you say, listen, I'm taking this dining room table. You take it back. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, Shliach Bezdin can, remember? He cannot go in the, remember we had a Machloikas Tanoi, but, yeah, but what, Shliach Shlech Bezdin can go in against it. But the Shliach yeah. Bezdin does not. Shliach Bezdin can did. take it directly from him in the marketplace. Days. But 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 Shliach Bezdin does know that he left to give it back anyway. No, he give it back the, those items that he needs for at night. You don't give everything back. If it's something yeah, he doesn't but... need, you don't give it back. And then we said the giving back, Walter, is only for the first thirty days. After thirty days, if the guy hasn't paid you, you can sell the item and, and take the take the money value for your payment. You're talking about if you took a ksus yom, you have to give it in the daytime because it's a, his work clothes. That's a ksus laila that you might have taken, let's say, in the daytime. You have to give it back at night if he needs it for night. You took collateral from a bar when he died. Now, let's say he had returned it because the guy needed it. But now that you saw him have it, the mother can come and take it. And he doesn't have to keep the mashkin with his sons. If, you, if we're talking about taking a mashkin, why is he returning it? What do you mean? The Torah told you have to give back certain items that he needs. If we gave it back already, why do you take it back as a collateral? Mario, I'm going to learn another